Guys, look at this scenery. It's amazing. We are in the Caribbean coast of Costa Rica doing some herping right now. The scenery is amazing. So there's eyelash vipers right here. There's dart frogs right here. We just have to go find them. But do you want to know the best part of herping the Caribbean side of Costa Rica? Naked herping. Let's go. <laughs> You better find the first eyelash. I'm in love. I don't. I don't want to leave this area. And we just got here. Dang Tay. You can work out more than that. Wait. Look at mine. Ugh, ugh. Guys, I found the first dart frog. Guys, this is awesome. There are literally dart frogs everywhere. Yeah. I love them, and they're so big. They're much bigger than I thought they'd be. Uh, the Rodas. Yeah, maybe we'll find some of the red ones, the uh, Pomilio. All right. Let's oh, yeah, I have a name. <laughs> These are Costa Rican green and black dart frogs, and they are poisonous. Uh, not the most toxic frogs on earth, but they can get you really, really sick and possibly even die if you were to say ingest one. These guys, they get their poison from what they eat here in Costa Rica, little ants and termites. Now, if there's one in captivity and it's only eating crickets and fruit flies, it will not be toxic. So if you've ever seen them at zoos or collections, they are not poisonous in captivity. And they seem to be quite locally abundant right here where we're staying on the coast. Cool hawk just landed above you. Squirrel cuckoo is right down low. There it is. Yes. Love squirrel cuckoos. Sloth. First sloth of the trip. Look at him. He's sleeping. Okay. I'm going to go get close footage of the sloth sleeping. Okay. Uh-huh. This is a Hoffman's two-toed sloth. He is so cute. He looked at me and went back to sleep. He said, boy, you ugly. <laughs> I'm gonna cry, he's so precious. Hey, buddy. It's gonna be hard to come down. You might go that way and drop. You're gonna hurt yourself, Rhett. You got stick legs. I always forget Costa Rica has raccoons. He didn't like your outfit. I know you're really good. He's like, oh. Look at him jiggling his booty. He's twerking though. I need to gloat. Not Taylor, but I just found the first snake of the trip during the day. Right behind me. It's a bird eater. Um, I wish I could show a picture we have of Taylor getting bit by one of these back in 2016. Sliced her hand, 
wide open. So we're not gonna pick it up because these can bite you really bad. Like I'll put a blurred picture of it so you can get the idea, like cut right through. Now this snake is called a bird eater for the obvious reason that they will eat birds, but they also eat rodents and other animals. They're also called a giant puffing snake because when they get scared, they will puff out their throat humongous and they'll raise their head up. This is a male brown basilisk. I don't know what kind of villain this guy looks like, but does he not look like a crazy villain? Say, what are you looking at? Let me see. Rubies! And frigate birds. That was like Captain Sparrow. I don't know, Zach. Alright guys, checking in from tropical paradise in Costa Rica. It has been an amazing morning. We are going to go take a siesta uh, so that we can rest up for tonight. We've been exploring the beaches. It's been incredible. We are in Costa Rica for six days. We're gonna try to do a video every day. Uh, depending on if we see enough animals because it depends on if they want to be found. We're going to three different areas for two days each. So hopefully a lot of variety, hopefully a lot of different scenery and show you guys around Costa Rica a little bit. Our bed and they made it with Kaylee and Toby pillows. <laughs> oh my gosh. What do you think they were thinking <laughs> when they saw those? And then you thought, what was cockroaches? Yeah. Geckos getting dirty in our corner. We are rested and fed. We found this really cool little funky restaurant with like all these rescue turtles uh, for dinner. And Not off the rescue turtles for dinner. Hold on. Oh, no, no, we didn't eat the rescue turtles for dinner. No. Anyhow, it was right on the beach. That's the ocean behind us. And there was a cool dirt road that winded behind this restaurant. We we're like, hey, we drove it. Let's go check it out, see if we can find anything on it. So that's what we're going to do. We uh, are in search of golden eyelash vipers. Are we going to find them? No. Are we going to look for them? Yes. Yeah. So we'll see what we find. Maybe we'll get something. It's already been a great, successful day. Uh, it's not a turtle. I don't believe it's turtle nesting season. We can look for sea turtles, but the ocean's here. The palm trees. Let's turn on our headlamp. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, he's getting ready to jump. Iguana, just like being home in Florida. Another iguana. Yellow-headed gecko way up at a tree. Brown basilisk. Uh, another animal we see in Florida. Actually, we have these in our yard. Also commonly called Jesus Christ lizard. All right, get back to sleep, sleeping beauty. It's hard to see, guys. This is a massive canopy of huge old-growth palms and trees. This is probably one of the most beautiful palm forests I've walked. When we're walking around, we always look at the base of the roots on top of stuff. Uh, we look where we think animals will be sitting, waiting in ambush, or out searching for food. Uh, out on open branches, tucked in dense stuff. Uh, you never know. Banana trees, you know the snakes love to sit around the bananas. Uh, this is also the driest we've ever seen in Costa Rica. These trees are humongous. We just kind of walked through a fence. We don't even know where we are. There's got to be stuff in here. Just like random little trails. Giant trees, probably marijuana growth. That's all the smells we've been smelling. Look at that, that is cool. Huge, oh wait, I can kind of get a minute. There he is, look at that eye. That's a caiman, a spectacled caiman. I thought it might be a croc, it's so big. That's probably an over five foot caiman. That has to be the biggest cockroach I've ever seen. <laughs> that is insane. Taylor's worst nightmare. That is crazy. Ooh, big male brown basilisk. First snake of the night, it's, it's on it. trash. It's a cat eye. Yeah. This is a cat eye snake. They get their name because of their pupils are horizontally split. And they're actually rear fangs, so they do have a little bit of venom in them, but it's harmless to humans. They're mostly just frog and lizard eaters. We kept saying all this debris in Florida would have snakes in it because there's been bugs and all yeah, kinds okay. of seas gone. Guys, terrible look at it, but look, a kinkachu is hit in the very center. And there's another kinkachu, guys. That's a big kinkachu. So kinkachus are related to raccoons, but they look like a monkey. Man, Costa Rica is so filled with wildlife. I love it. I love it. Oh, look at him eating. Oh, yeah. Great spot by Taylor. A plumed basilisk. 
Also known as Emerald Basilisk. What a beauty. Another Emerald Basilisk, little baby one. We almost stepped on him. Stopped off at a bridge on the way back to our hotel. Got another cat-eyed snake. Sitting like an eyelash viper on top of a leaf. Okay guys, we have reached the end of our first full day here in Costa Rica. I would say it was quite the success. It was a great um, day. Not too many snakes compared to what you know we usually find on this channel, but so many mammals, which I prefer, so I am super excited. Yeah, so we will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. So yeah. see you tomorrow.